Another knife unboxing, this is a Gerber this time and a lot of people have asked me to do these knives. Let me know in comments below what do you want to see. This is a little bit uh, cheaper burnt knives, so let's see what I got. Gerber made in USA this one, they do make a lot of them in China. This one is actually on more expensive side. Uh, wait, I thought this is, would be a flipper, but no, this one is just comes out like that. So this is a dagger style, but this end is not sharp at all. I guess you could sharpen it up yourself. There's a writing on it. I can really read that right now. So, what is this over here? Comfort folder. Very nice. Honestly, if you ask me, it is very, very comfortable. And what is this? I guess you press this and that way they will not fold down. So this is like safety. You see? It blocks it. So, boom. So in a way this is like a unique folder. You um, take it out with the nail and then you can close it. But it, it looks like it's a flipper to where you can use it like that. But I've been practicing a little bit. I'm getting better at it. Let's see if I can flick it out all the way. Not yet. But anyways, some knives are a lot easier, some a lot harder. Oops, gonna cut myself. But yeah, take it out like that, doesn't flip out that easily. Lock it over here, doesn't close anymore. So, very unique safety over here. Then you can close it slowly, boom. Okay, there you go. You could do it with a little flick. It is very comfortable, I like it. Next one, you know Fiskus, I did a bunch of boxes. I had no idea that they did a collaboration together. I love Fiskus uh, axes and splitting molds. So, let's see what they did together over here. Wow, very unique. Okay. Is it somewhere lock? It has to be. Where is the lock over here? So I'm telling you, a lot of knives I have no idea how to even open them. There you go, there wasn't a lock, it was just very, very tight. Wow, it is super tight. Ugh, yeah, almost two hands must be opened with, but there you go. Little finger over here, you can hold it, cut something. I uh, know, very comfortable. What do you guys think? It is very, very tough to open and close though. They go Fiskas Garba. I really like this style blades. Probably one of my most favorite ones. Okay. We got it here. Fastball Gerber. I wanna call it Garba for some reason. I don't know, my Russian accent. Oh wow, there's a zip tie in this one. Okay, today unboxing knife will be one of these lighter, holder, and a knife. So it doesn't really have a name. I've been using it a lot. It is definitely very good because it's quite thick to where it's not going to break, but it's small enough to get in into like a small places like this. Boom. And it's very, very sharp. Look at that. Okay. much much smaller one i love knives like that i feel like anybody could use this one seems like it's assisted oh yeah let me try to just push it a little bit but it costs fastball probably because it's so easy to open it it's made in usa portland oregon i guess i love the blade style as well very unique how it's shaved off over right here. Beautiful. The more like unique edges and lines over here on a blade, the more I like them. Kind of tough to press this, but when it does, it flies out. What do you guys think about this one? Beautiful pocket knife. Perfect for unbox it. By the way, very, very lightweight. Wait, whatever. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. Ooh, not super easy thing to open, but they go Gerber. Let's see here, Portland, Oregon. Bunch of American made. I think this one is way cheaper than the other ones. And then you can close them with two hands, I guess, like that. Yeah, definitely not, not the fastest thing to open. But there you go. Another one over here with the same, what feels like plastic handle, but there you go, different blade. Wow, this is kind of comfortable. I like that, almost like a pistol grip. You know what I mean? Very stingy blade. And let's see the way they sharpen it. It's so weird because look at this sharpened edge, much, much wider than this one. This is why I don't like Garbers as much. They are much, much cheaper. You see it? Why is that? One edge is a lot bigger than the other one. And it's so visible. It's crazy. But let me know in comments below what do you think. Kind of weird. Another Fiskars knife. That's cool. Hmm, this is interesting. Look at this uh, plastic handle, maybe even some kind of composite PVC. Oh, easy to open. I like that. Uh, kind of small, skinny handle. It's in into your hand, but you know, pretty cool pocket folder right here. How do we close this? Oh, it's a button. Okay, this is assisted knife. Okay, I think it's a spin assist. You close it like that, open it like this. Very easy. Oops. I like it. Fiskars nice. I didn't even know they made a bunch. Very beautiful knife design. I love this line. Curves a little bit. Again, the blade. Beautiful. And folds pretty good. Definitely have to practice closing it. Opening it is very, very easy. Let's see if I can just flick it, close it. Nope, have to use my hand to close it. Or maybe like this. Kind of like two hands to close it. Anyways, Fiskars Knives collaboration. I had no idea they made a bunch. Ooh, look at that one. It feels like all metal, much, much heavier than the other ones. Oh, how do we open it? Okay, just a little bit different blade style. The sharpening edge, is it similar or one side bigger? Kind of unique, I don't know. Yeah, that edge is a little bit bigger, I feel like. I don't know if it's on purpose, but that's how they do it. Okay, is this, yeah, this one right here closes down this way. Uh, kind of like a cheap knife out there. Almost too tight, you have to use two hands. Or I just need to practice some more. Some knives are so tough to open. There you go, two hands for sure. Eh, not super fun of it, kind of hard to open. Oh, this one is pretty cool. Look at the design. I love this fish scale or whatever you want to call them. Reflect light, pretty good. Seems to be all metal knife. Oh. Is it gonna come off or what? Anyways, beautiful blade. I like the finger guard right here. And how do we close it? Like that. Yeah, does not sound very good. That's why it doesn't open that well. <laughs> Squeaky knife. I guess you can open it like that too. Okay. But I like it like this. 
There you go. You really have to flick it like crazy. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's too tight over here, but it just does not sound good. That's so disappointing. But it is what it is. You get what you pay for. Yeah, Benchmade or Spyderco knives, much, much more expensive. But you see why. This one is kind of cool. Gerber right here. Shiny, all metal. Pretty easy to open. Okay, this one so far, my favorite. I really like the blade style too. Kind of like a classic one. Now I cannot open it again. There you go. Not the easiest thing to open, but very simple, generic knife. I like it. Something I would use every day unboxing and stuff, because I know I didn't pay too much money for it. But it is not the easiest thing to open, that's for sure. Okay, wow, super light knife. Okay, let's see. First of all, slowly. Look at that blade. Very different blade. Almost like a thick blade end over here. And then we close it like that. So not the easiest thing to open. Again, the back lock. But if you practice, I guess you could get really good at it. There you go. And this one also made in USA, Portland, Oregon. Very interesting. Okay, and the last one right here. They do have more expensive ones. I don't remember which ones those are. I like the blade, I can already tell. It's going to be one of those uh, like fat blades. I like that. Check this out. Okay, how do we open it? The easiest way. Looks like this way. And those are one of those, I remember, shaving knives. That's the style of it. And look how thick it's on this side. And then it gets really, really skinny fast. That's cool. I like that one actually a lot. Sounds like it would be fun to open boxes with it and stuff. And to close it, all we have to do is just boom. Nice, very easy to open. I like it whenever it's smooth, but I'm pretty sure this one is more expensive. This is why it's so smooth to open it. Very nice knife. Also, I'm kind of fan of this different style over here. Look at that. Whenever you push to open, it's a kind of very unique style. It's connected to this thing. Oops. Okay, boom. Is this where you place the finger to? I have no idea. To be safe, I probably will hold it like that. But I guess you could hold it like this too. Very, very unique, I like it. That's it, let me know in comments below which knives do you wanna see? I mean, which knife burned?